What's up YouTube? My name is Smitty. Welcome back to the channel. Here on Smitty's we do truck videos, travel videos, and other things. This video is going to be an other thing. I'm going to be mounting some storage boxes on top of my 4Runner. This process is pretty straightforward. I have factory roof racks, so if you have a roof rack, you could probably do the exact same thing that I'm doing. To get some of the items out of your vehicle and up on the roof, that extra storage is fierce. You definitely need it. It saves you some headache. Without further ado, let's get to it. But this is what we're working with today. I got, I just bought two Plano cases. I'm pretty sure y'all seen these around. A lot of them were on 4Runners. I really like the look. I need some more storage for my, my 4Runner, so I decided to give it a shot and see how I like it. The only bad thing is, I don't have a roof rack. I have the standard 4Runner Toyota rack. That's fine, but you have to find different ways to mount them. The way I came up with is, I found these brackets on Amazon. Basically how these work is you get four of these, you get four of these, and you get eight of these because you need one for both sides. So it goes under your cross member on your roof rack, drill a hole, in the plano box put this inside the plano box going through like this and then tighten these in the plano box or you can just get some nuts so these aren't protruding too far up just like that you could probably find a better solution at a local auto parts store or hardware store but i am confined to post because they are strict guidelines for covid uh, i bought two kits This is what the kit looks like. Uh, it's 20 bucks for the kit on Amazon. It's not too bad. Here's what the back looks like. These are made for Thule boxes. If you have a Thule box, you might already have this. Along with the two Thule boxes, you'll also need those kits and some drill bits to drill through the Plano box. And how you find the proper drill bit to drill in your kit is basically just, this has to be just a little bit bigger than the bit. So it's snits in there snugly. So you just line it up like that and then you drill your hole. All right, so a few reasons why I bought these Plano cases because they are waterproof. And as many of you know, I needed the extra storage uh, because I do live in my vehicle and trying to unclutter the inside the best I can by putting some of it on the roof. Another reason why I like these cases, there's a lot of latches that act properly seal it. There's four all the way around on this 42. But if you go up to the 52 box, you'll get uh, two additional straps, one on the side and one latch on, this, on that side. But the reason why I like these is they have locking latches. It comes with keys. There's the keys right there. I have yet to open them because I just got this box today. Uh, it locks on that side and it locks on that side. All right, so the very, very first thing you gotta do, you gotta find your crossbars. These are very simple on these Toyotas. As you can see down here, just a twisty knob. Basically just loosen it, go to this side, loosen this one, go down to the other side, loosen this one, and this one. Then kind of move the whole thing. Pull with this hand and then like tap on this hand so it'll come evenly. What I do is I move the, the front one all the way to the front and the back one all the way to the back. All right, so now that you got your Plano box up on the roof along with your tools, uh, I didn't mention earlier, you will need a drill for that drill bit I showed you earlier. The first thing that I would do is I would try and work on the back first. And then go ahead and open the box up. Because I am working on the back, I'm gonna find the bar, get near the back, make sure it's clearing the rear hatch. Then take one of these U-bolts I showed you earlier and then look down this crack and you can actually see the bar. Basically just taking my U-bolt and going around the bar. Another thing you could do to help yourself out, like let's say the bar is too far in the back, loosen up the back bar and move the back bar up. And I can move that rear bar all the way up to about right here so I can work on it right in front of me. You'll have to just move the box up a little bit secure the box and then move the bar back and the box will move back with it and you can just work on the front. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now 
gonna take your drill with your drill bit. After you mark it? As soon as you pop through, don't keep going because you will start drilling into the roof of your truck. As soon as it goes through, stop. Go up from underneath, go around this bar, basically just line it up with your holes. You're going to take this bracket that they gave you and put it over top of it. And after you get that one in place, just go ahead and screw these end caps on. Well, that's the first one, this is the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. How I'm actually marking these holes, basically I'm finding the crossbar and I'm taking one of these and I am basically putting it around that crossbar. And then when I find the spot that I like, I take my marker and I dab it right there. I'm basically centering it in this little spot right here and then I'm dabbing it right there. All right, so this is what it's kind of going to look like when you're done if you have if you keep the t handles but as you can see i left them all loose all loose all loose lucy 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 and as you can see it's still loose so i can put this wherever i want but it's still secure to the truck once you find the exact spot that you want it at then you'll tighten it down and crank it down how I'm measuring these, how I'm gonna do it at least, I closed the case, this first latch with the lock on it, I put this line with that, that cross member. And I did the same thing with this back one, put that last latch, this bar right here lined up with that bar right there. Now you just gotta find that sweet spot that you like. And basically how I'm doing it, the outside lip of this, outside bars, uh, roof rack. That way it's a smooth, seamless and then I can just step in my passenger door and if I need something I can just get it out of the passenger door. Then go ahead and start tightening them all up. Then after you're done don't forget to tighten your crossbars. As you can see, then close it, try it out. Make sure all the latches work, it's not bowed. Then check the sides to make sure it's still sealed. And yeah, let's go ahead and do the other side. Here's a quick view of what the boxes look like on top of the roof. My center supports are rounded. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's why it looks like the insides are higher than the outsides, just cause it is. Make sure your hatch can still open. From first impression, I really like these boxes. These are water resistant boxes. Um, this right here is a release valve. That way if it gets too hot, there's pressure built up inside. It'll open up this and then you can release the pressure. But they didn't include this screw on this side. It's no big deal, but it's irritating that companies do this. Yeah, I hope you all liked this video. Go ahead and drop a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to actually put something in this pluck and peel foam. Today I have these toe shackles to go with my manual winch. Basically, all you have to do is trace around your object and then cut out the, the foam and then it should just drop right in. Or you can just put it down, push down on it and you can actually see where you should trace out your item. And there you have it. But you can also just take this, lay it down, trace exactly this out, and then there'll be no wiggle room at all.